Hello everyone and welcome to the Hugh Hattrick channel. I do hope you are well and having a fantastic week. Now as you can see in the background I'm going to show you a race that I did in group it was uh, race B um, with the Group 4 cars at Deep Forest Raceway. And it was great fun and a very intense and great battle. So I'll show you that in a few minutes. But it was just a quick update to say that Super GT is coming on the show. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it for tonight. He's had to pull out due to an injury. Um, but hopefully, he was going to be feeling a lot better, perhaps even by tomorrow or Friday and at maybe the latest uh, into next week. But we're really looking forward to that. So please keep in, uh, keep in contact with us. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and in receiving the notifications because as soon as I've got full confirmation of the dates, I will put it on our community's page and also on Twitter um, so you'll find out straight away. But I wanted to have a, just a very quick chat and update because I have changed my mind regarding the new physics on uh, Gran Turismo 7. Now, at first I thought, goodness me, you can't break and turn, you can't do all the things that you could do before. It was kind of much, much harder. But in the last few weeks, I've gotten a bit faster. And I was looking at the time trials and thinking, why am I suddenly a bit more competitive than I was now? I don't really think I'm doing any more practice than I was. But um, it's, I've found it now with the new physics a little bit easier to actually get a good lap. I think making sure that you don't break too late and kind of connecting the corners a lot more, it's, it's working out that you actually get a much better lap. So I think my initial perception of the of this physics change um, I think just because it was so different um, and it was much more about right just taking a step back thinking how am I driving here and how can I do a bit better because I think maybe I was over driving the car and that's why it wasn't really working braking far too late turning too much where of course in real these cars you've got to kind of guide them in and be quite careful now there are still certain combinations that I'm not particularly competitive at but in a lot of the GT3 and GT4 and even this week's um, uh, Monza race, which is a fantastic race. I mean, we're having lots of fun watching people do that one. Um, it's well worth doing. But now that I've had my say, um, I know you want to see this race and we want to be, keep up to date with what's been happening. And by the way, we've still hopefully got John Cleland coming as well and some other big name racing drivers and a very exciting project that's coming about in October, of course, with our sim rigs and in December, there's an even bigger event happening, which I'm very pleased to be able to say I can be involved in. But that is all coming up in another video. But this video, let's see the race that we did. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It was very close and a lot of fun. I'll uh, switch to it just now. Now, here is the race. I started in sixth place. Um, and I was behind the, Lam the Lamborghini. Um, and this is quite a, it's a good track actually. I really kind of enjoy it. Of course, we've done the time trial in the Mitsubishi. I was also driving that same Mitsubishi and because I'd done a good time in it or a reasonable time that I was quite happy with. And I thought, right, go with a car that I know I can be competitive with. So we're on the first lap. We've done the first corner into the chicanes. He's long swooping left and right. You need to take quite a lot of curb if you can and then changing down into the right gears. So here we are as we come under the tunnel. It gets pretty close. Now, as you can see, I've lost a place to the Lancer. Um, he just got past me coming into that corner because it was a bit close. Now, we all kind of gather up here, and then I get I bump someone. I get bumped from behind. So now I've got damage from front and rear, but I just managed to reclaim seventh place. And then now down into second and along the back street. This is a crucial street. You've got to kind of take a late apex and use as much of that curb as you can. Um, because there was something to the right of me, I wasn't quite able to do that. So we head on up the road. Uh, normally, you'd be wanting to do a, a under a minute there, try and get a 59 if you can. Uh, and then you'd be doing a very good lap time. But I've got neck and neck, as you can see here. Look at that. Oh, and bumper cam's always quite fun there. Now, here we are. Oh, I'm in the wrong car. That is me in, in position seven. That is me there. How can I be so silly? I've gotten the wrong car. In fact, that's not me either. I'm in six, the one in front. So there you are. And <laughs> you know it's a live show when the Hugh Hattrick show is about because there's all sorts of video, video editing errors. Now, here we come. We are in uh, to the, into the start finish straight behind the Hurricane in fifth. Now, he's weaving around trying to keep me out of his slipstream. Um, but I noticed we were pretty much about the right, about the same kind of speed. But I thought maybe I could go a little bit quicker. And he goes wide there. So I try and get in on the inside. We're neck and neck. He gives me the space and I go through here. 
and I take that right. I was a wee bit concerned that he was um, very close there, that I didn't want to um, have any argy bargy, but we managed to get past, and then we go up into this wonderful right-hand corner. You're just going to back off, and as soon as you can see a straight line, you're going to go flat out. Don't take too much of the greenery there, otherwise you'll get a penalty. And then we come through here. I was staying in third gear to try and accelerate out of that bend and then going down into second and a nice even e exit there to try and spread out all of that uh, straight so that you can go up the hill. So this is the first proper lap we've had where there's not too much traffic behind. As you can see, there's got a wee bit of... He's not far away, but uh, not too far. Now, let's go back up to where we are in fifth place. We are breaking just before the curbs into first gear. The hurricane is definitely a little bit quicker on the straight, but as we go along, we're, we have a good exit, and now we are into the slipstream. And this was when the race really began, this intense battle for fourth place. I thought maybe if I could clear him quickly, I would be able to get through, and then we can maybe even try and catch up with positions three and maybe even on for a podium but here we go so breaking at the curb you're going to watch that you don't run too wide i was just about okay there and then try and accelerate and use all of that curb and you can see the hurricane using even quite a bit of that greenery there and managing to do that quite well now they were very quick coming around here i was going to be slight slightly out of rhythm on these bends although i managed to kind of close up here did a 26 7 for that sector he holds a nice line on the right. That Mitsubishi, mind you, it's a good car. It's a nice car to drive. And then into third, accelerating out. The Hurricane tended to go a little bit wide here. You can see the fire from his exhaust as he changed down. I was definitely getting better on that exit. And as you can see now, we are again pretty much neck and neck. But that Hurricane is pretty strong. So I'm going to try on the inside as we go into the tunnel, and this time I've done a one minute point four, I really should be about a second quicker than that, or certainly um, a seven or eight tenths, and braking just before the curb into first gear. And he does the switcheroo on me. I think I should have put, if I'd put a little bit more lock on, I maybe, maybe, managed, I maybe we'd have managed it. I'll try not to mumble and get my words out clearly. Uh, but that Lamborghini uh, got past me. So we're still in this battle for fourth place. We're now coming up to complete lap three. I think actually this is one of Gran Turismo's best new tracks. I, I do enjoy it. I think it's quite short and quite fun. And there's a rhythm and a kind of knack to getting the corners and the apexes. But once you get it, I think it really suits group four. Then it's fantastic fun. So here we go up the hill over to the left. Take a bit of curb there. Take a good bit of curb on the right. Otherwise you can throw the car a bit. And you can take a good bit of curve on the left there. And then into the tunnel. So I'm putting on the pressure on the Hurricane, the Group 4. They make a great noise. These cars, if you've seen them in real life, they're wonderful. And then down into third, you can see, look at the oversteer he's got. He's struggling. That uh, This is much more neutral. And then a nice early, oh, I nearly almost touched him there. It was pretty close. So we were pretty much, I think, on pace, very, very similar. I managed to get down to, I think it was a 34.3, which was, it's okay. It's a reasonable lap. We would have got a gold uh, lap time in the time trial. But I know a lot of guys were doing 33.8s and, and, and we on. Oh, and I just, we went a wee bit, well, a wee bit long there. But no problem. It was a good race. Afterwards, we had an excellent, we, we uh, left on very good terms coming down that wonderful hill into onto the start finish straight and here we come now what kind of time did we do here is it any quicker it's still into the 36s so not the fastest of laps but the final lap can we do something here we're going into the first corner but he is he is ahead of me just and he kind of cuts across the front but i don't mind that that's a he had the space there without any doubt and coming up the hill again into the left can i do anything here taking a bit of curb I take a slightly tighter line on the right. So we're both virtually identical. I'm maybe going to take a wee bit more on the left there as we come round into the first tunnel. And then over into 
the right hander, that long right hander, where as soon as you see the straight patch, you're going to accelerate. Now he's pulled away just slightly. Then I get into third gear. Can I get a good exit here? It's so hard to get a clean away because if you go, come in too early, you'll take up too much curve and you'll go wide and get a penalty. And if you come in late, you just understeer. So coming into the hairpin for the final time again, we're looking for that brake marker just before the start of the curves. And we catch right up with him. Oh, so we're quite good on the braking. And we had a good exit there too. And I kind of thought, oh, if it just been a wee bit, a wee bit closer, but I think we're just, although we're in the slipstream, I don't think we're going to be able to do quite enough to get a race, to get another place here, to get the fourth. But we're getting closer and closer. We're in the slipstream. And we're going to get a 34.9, which is not too bad. And at least that was my, one of my faster laps. But got a fifth place, started six, um, lost a place and then gained two. So that's at least a wee bit better um, than the... Uh, we've had in recent history. And I have to say, I recommend this for this combination. It's really good fun. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please subscribe and hit that like button. But we'll see you very soon because we've got an interview with Super GT. If it's not today, it may be tomorrow or possibly next week, but it's definitely coming. So take care, everyone, and we'll see you very soon. Bye just now.